Hey everyone, and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to talk you through the contact follow-up frequency feature. This is a feature within the contacts part of pipe drive, which is a really useful way for reminding yourself about when to follow up with clients. So the type of situation where you would use this is like with your VIP clients, you know, people who have maybe paid for your product or service already, and you want to keep in touch with them on a monthly, quarterly, uh, maybe annual basis just to keep keep that relationship going or maybe they are just other important contacts that you've stored who you just want to make sure that you maintain a good relationship with and so this feature can help you to maintain and keep in touch with your most important contacts now if you have any questions at the end of this video uh, feel free to leave me a comment or if you need more one-on-one -on -one support with pipe drive there's a link in my description where you can book a complimentary introductory call with me and I can talk you through my consulting options and help you with account setup uh, migrating data and that kind of thing and of course, if you are a new user to Pipedrive, look in the description, grab my affiliate code, and you can extend your trial to 45 days. Um, and uh, yeah, there are instructions in the description on how to redeem that offer. So into this video, first of all, here I am in the contacts part of Pipedrive. So I've come to contacts, people, and this is the page that I'm on here. Now, if I come up to the top left, this list view, this is the view that most people are used to seeing. It's this kind of spreadsheet table layout, which just shows me all of my contacts. And if I change this button, I can switch over to the timeline. And the timeline, if you haven't discovered this feature already, a lot of people don't even realize that this is here, but this feature basically shows us, you know, for different clients, um, what interactions have we had? So this feature relies on you logging your activities. So if I look at one of my clients here, AJ Wilson, this green bar represents the time frame of a deal. So for AJ, there was this deal, it started back in Q1 this year. So I'm looking at a 12 month time frame here. So this deal started in Q1, it closed in Q2. And during that time, there were a number of emails, phone calls um, exchanged as well. So I can see the history of my communication with that client. Green basically says there was a one deal. Red shows that there was a lost deal. Um, white is there's a deal. Uh, I think either deleted, uh, I think this one is deleted actually. Now, um, the follow-up frequency feature is up here. So at the moment, I'm looking at all of my contacts. This is everyone in the system. There are 617 people. Now, before I actually turn on the frequency, it's a good idea to filter and create a, a filter or a segment of contacts that we want to follow up with. So rather than looking at everyone, because following up with 600 people realistically is not, is not that achievable. So I'm gonna create a filter. I actually have one set already called top clients. And I've built this using a few criteria that are important to me. So the first one is I want to just look at everyone who's had a deal with me, like just one deal or more um, has been one. So person one deals is more or equal to one. So we've had a deal that's been one. And the second value is that the deal uh, is more than or equal to $2,000. So I just wanna look at the kind of higher end clients that I'm dealing with. So when I save this filter, Rather than looking at 600, now I've whittled my contacts down to 34. So if I look down this list, I can see these are the 34 contacts that are uh, the most important to me. And now if I click this little, next to this little circle, if I click this little arrow, I can set a follow-up frequency. So I have to turn it on. And now I can set what period, how often do I want to follow up? So let's say I want to follow up maybe biannually, you know, uh, once or uh, well, twice a year once every six months. So it says here now, of the 34, 15 need to be contacted. And it's actually sorted them for me. So Coley Brown up here is a contact. It's been a while since I last talked to him, Q3 last year. And you can see the timeline going down here. So as we move through time, um, Alex, for example, was Q1 this year. So we can see going down in time. So all of these ones in red, so from Coley all the way down to Drew, these are contacts who I have not contacted within the last six months. That's why they're showing up as red. Pipe is telling me these are the people you need to um, follow up with first because you haven't contacted them in a while. Below that, these are people who I have talked to in the next uh, in the last six months, but I might want to follow up with them, uh, schedule an activity to follow up as well. But the red ones are the kind of higher priority because it's been the uh, largest amount of time since I've last talked to them. So what I can do here is now let's say it's time to uh, schedule an activity. I can click the plus over here and I can schedule an activity and it's going to assign it to the contact and I could say, right, let's give Coley uh, an email, oh, sorry, a call. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. And so now I can schedule an activity and there's a little call icon uh, and that'll be on my activities list ready for tomorrow. 
So that's one way that we can do it. And uh, another way that I've done this, to customize this a little bit more, I have another filter here called VIP contacts. And so here's eight people, uh, much smaller list. But the way I've set this up is I've actually used Pipedrive's custom fields to create, I've created a field called groups. And I've tagged, I've got one option called VIP contacts. So if I show you in my settings actually, the way I've set this up is we want to go to our custom fields on customized fields on the left here. And if I go to people, because it's a custom field related to contacts, not to deals, but to contacts. And you see down here this groups field, and this is a multi-option field. So if I click on here, I can show you the options that I've got. So I've got VIP contact, priority booking, that's just something to do with my booking service, contractor, uh, contractors I'm working with, and partners are, um, yeah, again, slightly different to contractors, but partners I, I kind of like joint bank venture partnerships. So this this is just a, a custom field that I've set up called groups, and it's just a way of me tagging contacts with important information. So I've tagged them with VIP or partner, just so I can filter my contacts. So I've set that up. Now if I go back to my contacts, the way I've set up my filter for VIP contacts is very simple. So I've just gone person is in the group contains, just make sure you use contains. If you use is, it means they it has to be this value and this value alone. Contains means it can it has to contain this value and others are fine as well. So I just want to look at my VIP contacts and now I have eight people that need to um, follow up with. Now you can see this particular segment I've set to follow up monthly. So that's really important to remember with this feature, different segments or different filters, I should say, different views that we're looking at can have different follow up frequencies. So my VIP contacts, I want to follow up with every month. And you can see there are three people here uh, in red that I need to follow up with. Whereas top clients, which is a different um, kind of subset of my contacts, I only need to follow up with them biannually. So just keep that in mind with your follow-up frequency. They are set based on at a kind of uh, segment level, you know, based on the view that you're looking at here, whether it's for a particular sales rep or a filter, the frequency is different for each view that you look at. So there you are. That's a little introduction to the contact follow-up frequency. It's a really great way of just maintaining good relationships, setting yourself reminders about when to follow up with, you know, past clients or hot leads that you want to just maintain a good relationship with. Like I said, if you have any questions about anything I've talked about today, please leave me a comment below. And thanks very much for watching this video.